Gerald Gondal suggests mandatory free speech classes. Let's look at this tweet. Oh, what do you guys what do you guys think of this? This is the last one that we're looking at. Uh, Gondal is saying mandatory lessons on freedom of speech in every school which involves teaching children to not react violently when something dear to them is criticized or mocked. Uh, show them cartoons and satirical reactions of different faiths. We have to turn the tables no to blasphemy laws. I agree with this. I would just change it slightly. I would say mandatory. I think it, I, I don't think this is too much government overreach to make this mandatory. If ma if mathematics are mandatory, if le learning read to write is mandatory. In fact, I think l learning uh, logical fallacies should also be mandatory for children. So I don't have any problem with this being mandatory. I completely agree with this being mandatory. The only thing I changed with this tweet, and you guys let me know if you agree with this or not, I would just replace freedom of speech with all of the Enlightenment values. I think there should be a mandatory course in every class on everywhere on the planet uh, with the values that have proven based on all data to make the world a better place. The values and ideas ha that have been successful in reducing misery more than any other set of ideas, right? And so it's not just freedom of speech. It's going to be government accountability. It's going to be secularism. It's going to be due process. It's going to be the scientific method. It's going to be um, basically understanding uh, logical fallacies as a way to be able to apply logic to arguments. Uh, what else is in, in the Enlightenment values? I have a big list of Enlightenment values, but it should be all of them. Every, sing every, every single. It should be a class on Enlightenment values. That would be if I, yeah. I was going to say if I was the king, I would make this mandatory, and I realized that Enlightenment values are against having kings. So I would not be able to do that. Oh, democracy, another Enlightenment value. Uh, democracy. Uh, but yeah, freedom of speech would be chapter one <laughs> because every uh, all the enlightenment values will go away if you don't have this first one. Every single right that we cherish, all the you know, every single value that we think is going to make the world a better place, you're not going to be able to fight for it. You're not going to be able to keep it, even if you have it, if you don't have this first right, this first most important principle among all other. Enlightenment values, right? So yeah, this should be chapter one, but it shouldn't be the entire course. It should be just cha the chapter one of the entire. We should do more. Um, we should do more videos of enlightenment values. What do you guys think? We should do like live streams on just going through enlightenment values. Uh, Torello is saying this is completely fine being mandatory. In fact, I think it already is to a large degree in social sciences classes and history classes. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Sajib is saying, you are not getting my question. Okay, well, sorry, guys. I'm trying, okay? I'm, I, I'm doing so many things at the same time. But, I, okay, so I, I'm noticing it now, okay? Uh, books and logics will work on the Muslims who are capable of thinking rationally and understand logic. What about the others? I don't get your question. Books and logic will work on the Muslims who are capable of thinking rationally and understand logic. What about the others? Oh, yeah. The others. Why well, did an entire speech on this? I'll do a short version of it, okay? Logic is like... Log logic is only going to get you uh, so far if people have their defenses up, right? That, that, that I, my motto is the best way to fight Islam. You listening, Sajim? Listen. The best way to fight Islam, everybody in the live chat, take notes right now. Take notes, okay? This is a one liner. The best way to fight Islam is to. Befriend Muslims. Class dismissed.
Um, yeah. Okay. Amani is saying, yes, do the lives about enlightenment values. Okay. I will look into it. Hashtag Guru Armin. Thank you, Soha. Oh my god, this is such a bad take. Somebody is responding to Gonda. I'm fine with it. Just admit it that you're brainwashing. Also, nope. Teaching people based okay, it depends on how you teach it, right? If you tell people freedom of speech is good because I said so, then that's brainwashing. If you say freedom of speech is good, but you shouldn't accept it because I tell you so, you actually have to do research and look at data and you can see based on this data, um countries that had more freedom of expression, they that better because of this and this and that. Oh, by the way, a good book that I recommend for you guys to see the actual data behind why these values work the best is Steven Pinker's Enlightenment Now. Okay, if you guys want a, a summary of all the reasons why these values, these ideas, perform make countries better, it's not just Western country, but any country, any goddamn country that adopts these values does astronomically better. Check out this book by Steven Pinker, Enlightenment Now. All right. 